Thank you very much. Chairman Smith, Chairman Poe, Member, uh, Ranking Member Bass, Ranking Member Sherman, other members of the committee, uh, let me thank you for this opportunity uh, to update you about our policy uh, in Nigeria and specifically on our efforts to help Nigeria counter, counter the threat of Boko Haram and other associated uh, violent extremist groups. I will provide uh, a full uh, copy of my written testimony, so this will be somewhat abbreviated so that I leave enough time to take questions. Good. Uh, Chairman Smith and, and Chairman Poe, instability in Nigeria is of direct concern to the United States. Nigeria is one of our most important partners in Africa. It is home to an estimated 170 million people, making it the most populous country in Africa and the seventh most populous country in the world. Nigeria is 22nd fast, has the uh, 22nd fastest growing economy in the world the 13th largest supply of oil to the global market, and the second largest destination for U.S. private investment in Africa. Nigeria is also the second largest African contributor to U.N. peacekeeping operations around the world, not just in Africa, but around the world, and we welcome Nigeria's participation on the U.N. Security Council beginning in January. The significant mutual interests we share with Nigeria have led us to build a robust bilateral relationship, which we have deepened and broadened through the U.S.-Nigeria uh, Binational Commission. We meet regularly with senior Nigerian officials. President Obama met with President Jonathan in New York in September uh, on the margins of the U.N. General Assembly. Under Secretary Sherman uh, led a large interagency U.S. delegation to Abuja in mid-August to discuss civilian security with senior Nigerian um, uh, civilian and military leaders, including President uh, Jonathan and National Security Advisor Daisuke. I will be traveling myself to Nigeria uh, in December and hope to have meetings at those same levels. Additionally, I would like to thank you, uh, Congressman Smith, uh, for your visit to Nigeria uh, in September. Uh, to meet with Nigerians affected by Boko Haram's violence. It is through these engagements, ours and, and yours, that we're able to translate our partnership into mutual action to advance opportunities and to address the threat that Boko Haram poses. Boko Haram and associated violent extremist groups such as the faction known as Ansaru that you all described so, uh, in so much detail to us pose a threat to Nigeria's stability. These groups attack the Nigerian government, they attack the military, they attack ordinary citizens of all walks of life, including numerous Christians, but even a greater number of Muslims. Their actions have increased tensions between ethnic communities, it's interrupted development, frightened investors, and alarmed Nigeria's neighbors. Boko Haram and associated groups can strike Nigeria's neighbors and it targets foreigners. Their unspeakable violence has killed too many Nigerians to even count, as we saw during September when attackers in Bini Sheikh shot more than 160 people, and in Yobe, where you described earlier, more than 50 innocent students lost their lives. In August 2011, a suicide bomber from Boko Haram attacked the United Nations headquarters in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. And on February 19th of this year, Boko Haram kidnapped seven French tourists in Cameroon, and although Boko Haram has directed most of its violence and rhetoric at Nigerian targets, reports of linkages between Boko Haram and Al-Qaeda in the Maghreb, in the Islamic Maghreb, AQIM, are very worrisome for us as well as for the Nigerians. Boko Haram's violence comes at a time of uncertainty and tension for Nigeria. Preparations for the country's 25th 15 elections have already begun, and political realignments are adding to existing tensions. In the oil-producing Niger Delta, thieves steal at least 100,000 barrels of oil per day, and perhaps more. This theft reduces government revenues, it fuels corruption and international crime, and it contributes to environmental degradation. Corruption hinders the country's efforts to enforce rule of law, to attract investment and expand infrastructure. Good governance 
healthy political competition, equitable economic growth would go a long way to address all of these challenges. And the strategy of countering Boko Haram should be, in, in other words, it should be holistic. The government needs not only to stop Boko Haram attacks, but address longstanding grievances of law-abiding northern Nigerians about government corruption and unfairness that attracts disaffected youth to Boko Haram. Military and law enforcement efforts are necessary, but they alone are not, uh, are, are inefficient, are insufficient to counter the threat posed by Boko Haram and associated violent extremist groups. In the long run, reducing Boko Haram's ability to recruit is just as important as degrading its capabilities. Nigeria must protect civilians, it must guarantee human rights, and ensure accountability in instances where government officials and security forces violate those rights. Nigeria must demonstrate to all Nigerians that government can be and must be the sole trusted arbiter of justice in their country. The United States is committed to helping the Nigerian government and people counter the threat of Boko Haram. In June 2012, the State Department designated Boko Haram's top commander as, spe as specially designated global terrorists under Section 1B of Executive Order 13224. In June 2013, the State Department added Abu Bakr Shekau, Boko Haram's official leader, to our Rewards for Justice program. And as has been announced earlier, I'm pleased also to announce uh, that the United States has taken additional steps to counter the threat posed by Boko Haram and Ansaru. Earlier today, the State Department designated both as foreign terrorist organizations under Section 219 of the Immigration and Nationality Act as amended and as specially designated global terrorists under Section 1B of Executive Order 13224. We took this step after very careful consideration, and I know you think it was too long, uh, but we did make sure that we got it right. We anticipate that this designation will empower U.S. law enforcement and the Treasury, Treasury Department with additional tools to pursue these violent extremist organizations. We believe this designation is an important and appropriate step, but again, it's only one tool in what we believe must be a comprehensive approach toward addressing the Boko Haram threat. We are committed to assisting Nigeria in bolstering its law enforcement capabilities and ultimately in shifting to what we believe should be an integrated civilian security focused strategy to counter Boko Haram and Ansaru in a manner that adheres to the rule of law and ensures accountability and diminishes the ability of Boko Haram to appeal, uh, Boko Haram's appeal and legitimacy to civilian populations. The United States recognizes that the Nigerian government and secu security forces face a difficult challenge in countering the Boko Haram insurgency. Both ordinary citizens and security forces have suffered. Still, we are concerned by reports that some Nigerian security forces have committed gross human rights violations in response to Boko Haram, not only because their approach is wrong, but because it is counterproductive. We have raised this concern with the government of Nigeria at the highest levels, and while Northern Nigerians, Muslims, and Christians alike largely reject Boko Haram's vision and violence, Boko Haram has exploited local resentment of these violations and other longstanding grievances against the central government to attract recruits. Nigeria's prosperity and stability matter to all of Africa. The United States is committed to several presidential initiatives in partnership with Nigeria, including the Young, Africa, Young African Leaders Initiative and Power Africa, as well as significant programs in the areas of health, education, and economic growth. Nigeria's success is important to us. We must continue to help our Nigerian partners develop an effective, multifaceted strategy toward Boko Haram. Overcome the, overcoming the challenges posed by Boko Haram will not be easy, and we know that, but we do believe it is possible. We appreciate all of your efforts here in Congress. We appreciate your interest in this issue, 
and we're ready to work with you as well as with the government and people of Nigeria in the months ahead to work against this threat. And I look forward to your questions. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much, Madam Ambassador.